Also, we have to understand how the system is stacked. America, America is not a country. America is a corporation. So we're not fighting, we're gonna, we're gonna get to that. We're not fighting against rights of a country. We're fighting against corpor corporations. So look at this. We have three sovereign city-states. We have Vatican, London City, which is not a part of London. We have Vatican City, which is not a part of Rome, Italy. And we have Washington, D.C. That's not a part of the United States of America. Now, London City controls the finances of the world. Vatican City controls the spirituality of the world. Washington, D.C. controls the, the military of the world. The military of the world, the military of the world feeds the finances of the world. Wars make money, which is why out of the 290 plus years of America's existence, 209 years have been filled of war. So there's only been, what, 80 years or 70 some, 70 something years where we haven't been at war. But we have been at war for 209 out of the 280 or 290 years that we've been in existence. And why? Because it brings money. The act of 1871 turned America from a country into a corporation. And that was, in, that was done by the, the, the Jesuits. Abraham Lincoln was fighting against the Jesuits who had incited the Civil War, incited the, the North against the South. <coughs> and they assassinated, they're the ones that assassinated Abraham Lincoln. They tried to kill uh, a John, John Adams. There was John Adams? They tried to kill John Adams and they could not get him because he would not let the centralized bank into America. And on his deathbed, he said, you know, I've defeated the Jesuits. Uh, and actually, that's his last words. And uh, the reason in 1870, the act of 1871. So in the act of 1871, America became a corporation where uh, the banks, the central, the, 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 the banks now, uh, the economy is now given to London. The banks now come and they came and take control because America was in a debt. The Federal Reserve System comes. The Federal Reserve is not a uh, federal bank, but it's a bank that's run by the eight wealthy families. Uh, most of them are situated in Europe. Most namely the Rothschilds, uh, Rockefellers, J.P. Morgan. So we have these. These are the these are the three cities that run the world, and the pa the papacy, Vatican, is the one that's the ruling over. That's the head of all of them. Actually, there is a, uh, Washington is under a, a separate constitution that, that's between them and the papacy. I forgot the name of the constitution, but they, they reside outside of the, the United States constitution. So whatever the papacy tells them that they have to do, they have to do. They, they are owned by they are owned by London. Um, King George, King James, uh, King James put a clause in that even though like the America didn't really win the French Re uh, the American Revolution. Say it again. Yes, they didn't really win. They really didn't win the uh, the the American Revolution. They were just they were given this to they were given this land so that King James is now going to continue to make money off of his business or his business ventures in America, and then soon later, after the Civil War, the centralized bank came in. Um, London still has the England still has that control over the United States. The United States has now turned from a country into a corporation. So again, we're not fighting against a country or fighting against a corporation. And there's a system that's behind that corporation telling the corporation how it is to run. This corporation is the, are the group of our, these individuals are the ones that pick our presidents. Now I'm not saying for you not to vote. Or the, the, those are the individuals that, and the president, the reason why the president is called the president is because there was a clause in this agreement where the president was not supposed to be called a king or a monarch. Now when you see a president, you're usually seeing someone who's the head of an, organiza uh, 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 an organization or a head of a company. So you have a, a president or, who, or the CEO, you have a vice president or the vice chair. 
You have the treasurer or the, sec the secretary. That's how the system is governed. So, all right, so America's turned into a corporation and America's changed from a, co a country to a corporation in 1870, in 18, according to the act of 1871. Now, this shows that slavery wasn't, is not over as we, it's not over, it's, it ha it's never ended. What happened was we were emancipated, we weren't freed. So we were just transferred from, we were transferred from the slave owners to the corporation. So the corporation, so the corporation now still, we, we're, we now still, the corporation owns us and we still, we, we, we're the ones that they, they make their money off of. We're still slaves, we're slaves now. Our slavery has been passed over to the corporation and now we fund and make, we, the corporation is funded off of our backs. They make their money off of us, which is why people say if you take your money out of the, the, these corporations, you take this money out of the economy, then the economy will fail. Yes, the economy is, is situated off the backs of African Americans. That's true. And again, the United States is an, a, a corporation. It's not a company. And the Washington DC is not a part of America. It's a separate entity. And whatever the Pope tells it to do, that's what they have to do. The individuals who did not listen to the Pope, uh, John Kennedy, um, Lincoln, all these, other, all these individuals that were assassinated, they were assassinated because they didn't follow after, they didn't follow after Rome. They know what the deal is when they get in there. Which is why every president meets with the Pope before the presidency starts. So we see that we can't fight the country, we can't fight the country in that realm because the country is not a country, the country is a corporation and the corporation is backed by these powerful individuals who's packed back by Rome. And they've been working for hundreds of years to get to the point where it is that they're getting at here. So us fighting in, the, us fighting in, that, in, 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 in that realm or looking, seeking to Washington to change the laws. We have a black president and we have a black attorney general and still, no changes can be made, but the president can fight for homosexual rights. He can fight for the LGBT with all of his might, but he cannot speak. There is nothing that he can say on uh, uh, the situation that black individuals are going through. And we're soon not gonna have a black president anymore. So whoever comes in next is really not gonna speak on our behalf. So Washington is not there, because Washington is not, is not there for us. Washington is there for, 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 for is following after Rome.